going to do a little bit of an informal review on the Yankee Hill Machine Company AR-15 rifle in the carbine version. And we went to the range today and I was shooting, actually I had a couple of Bushmasters and a Colt with me doing some um, sighting in of some scopes and optics. And my buddy went along with me and he was bringing his Yankee Hill uh, AR-15 and I was very curious to, uh, to shoot this rifle. Because when he first bought it, he told me a story about being down at a local, well, it wasn't really a local gun shop. It was a gun shop out of state. And when he went to buy, he was buying about $100 worth of accessories for his AR. And the guy asked him, said, what, what kind of rifle do you have? And he said, I have a Yankee Hill AR-15. And the guy went, huh. He goes, I wouldn't sell one of those things. Those things are junk. And the guy just looked at him and he said, okay. He said, well, fine. And he just pushed the stuff. And he said, well, you know what? You have a nice day. And he walked out of the shop. And I, I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll do some research on this. I knew we were going shooting. So um, I checked it out. And uh, I had handled the rifle earlier, but I'd never shot it. So I had a chance to shoot it next to a couple of really high quality Bushmaster and a Colt 20-inch uh, AR-15. And I'm going to tell you, the uh, Yankee Hill was a pleasure to shoot. And not only that, it was extremely lightweight. Even with the quad rail, that it comes with, and it has really nice uh, flip down front and rear adjustable sights. Now one thing I look for immediately with an AR-15 is, is it mil-spec? And the Yankee Hill is mil-spec, which makes it very compatible with all of your mil-spec parts. And that's very important, especially if you're building or you're replacing parts. Mil-spec is something that you really need to look for. And the finish was just really nice. I mean, it was a very nice uniform finish throughout the rifle. And as you can see, we, we got some close-ups uh, of the rifle in action. So you'll get to see the, the finish of this rifle. But I was very impressed. It has a, a, a four-position collapsible stock. And the uh, quad rail, as you'll see, is very ornate. I really like the quad rail. Let's see, one and nine twist. Yeah, this is a Yankee forearm. That's a pretty neat little rifle. Also, they're made from high strength. 7075 aluminum alloy. So just an excellent, um, very well produced lower and upper receivers. And the finish again, it was a, a hard black anodized finish and just a quality rifle. One thing that uh, really impressed me too, we were shooting just with iron sights. He did have a little red dot that he'd put on the top, but we were hitting, once we got the sights sighted in for the 100 yard, we were shooting irons and um, the last few groups were within about two inches and in the bullseye. He had two in the bullseye and one just above for his last group. And so uh, we left on a really good note. I, I hate that I didn't get that target, but we, we actually closed the range down. And so we were in a little bit of a hurry leaving. Kill that paper target. The, the iron sights held up very well. We were shooting two inch groups once we got the rifle sighted in where we wanted uh, with irons and uh, hitting the bullseye a number of times and in the black, just loading it into the black. Really, I was very pleased with the accuracy and uh, I would say I would own a Yankee Hill uh, and be a proud owner of such a rifle. So what do you think about this Yankee Hill system, this AR-15 rifle? I really like it. I've had it for about a year now and enjoy every minute of it. I bought it, like I said, about a year ago. It's got collapsible stock. I've got the flip up, uh, uh, backup sights. It's got the quad rail. It's and that's all Yankee Hill too, isn't it? Yeah, every bit of this is Yankee Hill except for the sight. Uh, this is an aim shot. It uh, has adjustable sights on it. It's, it's no magnification, but you can adjust the brightness and the dimness of it. You can change what picture you're looking at. It's a fairly light rifle. For me, it's easy to control even in a standing position. 
no no problems whatsoever. Very happy with it. Yeah, no malfunctions. No, no malfunctions. I shoot cheap ammo. I've got cheap magazines for it, and no problems whatsoever. These are some of the magazines that Shoots gave me. Uh, been very dependable. Got the green followers. This gave me when I first bought my rifle. So, uh, yeah, we go to church together, and uh, always supporting my buds at church. Most excellent. I really like this rifle, too, as I've said. Uh, it's just a very nice little little rifle. All right. Very pleased with the weight. Just exceptionally lightweight. This is my zombie killer, in case the zombies come. Hey, you never know. Zombies on the way. <laughs> Now, just a little side note: uh, Brownells does carry the Yankee Hill, uh, the Yankee Hill lowers and parts for Yankee Hill, which says a lot because Brownells uh, picks very quality items to put in their catalog. With every all things considered, I really like this Yankee Hill rifle, and I think they're doing a good job and very high quality. Now, you may have some other uh, issues yourself, but. Uh, this guy had it for over a year and uh, has been shooting it and has had zero malfunctions and it just just flawless in reliability. Pull those sights down and let's take one of those. We've been shooting irons at a hundred yards. Functions flawlessly. One of the nice features about the Yankee Hill, which this is a Bushmaster, but just to show you, there is they come with an oversized magwell, and this makes it really easy for mag changes, and that's uh, that's stock with the Yankee Hill products. They run about I think the cheapest one I found uh, online was about a thousand seventy-five uh, for the basic model, and that's a, that was a carbine with the quad rail with the uh, sights. Uh, the flip up front and rear sights. So that's, you know, that some of them can run maybe a little more than others, but that just denotes the quality of the rifle and the accessories that come with it. Okay, and how many positions on the collapsible stock? So four position stock. Let's take a look. You got a three point sling on here. I think uh, even talking about going to a single point. It's comfortable, but this strap here can get in the way sometimes. Right. Very nice. It's a nice little rifle. It's pretty lightweight. Actually, uh, even with the uh, grip, it was lighter than my uh, carbine with the basic plastic grips. I think it may be due to the barrel. But a uh, nice little rifle, very quality made, and uh, just a nice little AR. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Tu peux te dépendre à bel enrayant. J'ai pas oui, à bel an. J'ai la palette à bel enrayant. J'ai sa suite à pagie. Tu peux te dépendre à bel enrayant.